Laura Morris is a designer and a feng shui expert, and she's going to be here in just a minute to talk about how to use feng shui in your bedroom to get more loving in your life, but right? You say it again, loving in more your life. life. Absolutely. But first, everybody, check out this space that needed her help. Thanks for coming down, sweetie. Hi, Stephen and Chris. I'm at my client's house. She's asked me to take a look at her bedroom to see if it's set up for love. Let's take a look. The first thing I look for when I come into a space is the overall flow of chi or energy. This room is great. It's really bright and airy, which is fantastic, but I've seen quite a bit of clutter. They could be stacked up magazines, it could be large pieces of furniture, and in those spots where there's the clutter, that means the chi can't go. So we really need to address those issues. All right, let's see what's under the bed. And this is a great spot for stuff. Okay, it looks like, I don't know, a chair, box of stuff. So all of this clutter and obstacles that are around the bed, under the bed, beside the bed, that can actually represent emotional baggage and communication breakdown. So this is why I'm pretty concerned about this stuff. The next thing I like to look at when I'm assessing a space is the furniture layout. This room is set up for a single person. There's one side table, one lamp. The bed isn't perfectly centered, it could be better. Typically, I actually see beds pressed right up against the wall. And this side has this lovely piece of furniture, which I actually quite like, but it's really not in a great spot. So what we need to do is balance out this space so it's set up for love. This desk is another issue. Not only does it have a computer on it, which I don't love, but it's also blocking the entrance into the room, which blocks chi. The other thing too is we need to sort of deal with this visual clutter so that it's calmer and more harmonious. And then the other thing is her closet. So this is another very well organized, got lots of nice clothes, but we really don't want to see them, especially when she's sleeping. The biggest thing I notice off the bat is the blue and the white, which is very soothing and um, beautiful, but it actually represents metal, which can be a bit rigid. She's got blue and white bed sheets, she's got blue and white pillow, even the carpet here at the foot of the bed is blue and white. The drapes are white, the uh, walls are pale blue. She clearly really loves this and it's soothing for her, but I think we're going to just have to melt it a bit with some other elements. As you can see, we have a few issues to take care of. Replacing some of the missing elements and balancing the space overall. But I've got some ideas and I can't wait to show you. Uh -oh. Everybody, welcome Laura. <laughs> welcome, welcome Laura. Show, honey. You've got your work cut out for you in there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. The chi, yeah. is it the chi is off or well, the, the, the something's well, off? Well, as you can see, yeah, the chi was off because it was being blocked. Yeah. But the biggest thing for me was the positioning of the furniture, mm -hmm. which I see all the time. I don't know what it is. I guess people want more space. Yeah. And when yeah. they're single, they just shove the bed against the wall. I mean, it wasn't quite that bad, yeah. but you still it needed some work. And the other thing was the metal, as yeah. I spoke to. So she obviously is comfortable with one particular element, yeah. um, and it was metal, which is common for people to have that element they gravitate to. Yeah. So, yeah. And, so and what, melt and that. You found that that element was in the color, the blue, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there's there's five elements there are five in total. Elements. Let's yeah. go through some of the five yeah, that you're supposed through. to have in there because yeah. you, 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 that's how you start getting the chi back, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you balance all five. So she had a lot of metal. Metal is represented. So each of the five elements has a color, yeah. a shape, and also material. Okay. And what they are is the five elements are, they have to stay in balance because they each represent a different energy that you find in nature. So when you think about it, you see wood, trees, mm -hmm. it has a certain kind of, of energy and that energy is healing energy. Yeah, and we want to bring that you into You want to bring home. in all, have all of those balance so that sure. nothing's out of whack. Now you yeah. can always, you can play with it and add a little bit more of another element if you want to achieve something, but it's good to just balance it out first. Okay, okay. so let's go through some of them. So, for her, it was metal, right? Metal, okay. So, there's, okay, so there's, there's fire. Okay. And then there's, I don't have them all represented here, but okay. fire, earth. Yep. And then water, yep. metal, and wood. Okay. Okay. So, because we were dealing with a metal space, mm -hmm. there, there are elements that counter other elements. So, for instance, for metal, fire melts metal. 
Okay. okay. So you bring in fire. Like when you're dealing with a space with like has that a massive amount of metal, I really just wanted to bring in one key element and then with some other little accessories balance out the rest of the okay, elements. Okay, let's talk about the love part. What, how is the feng shui actually going to help? How are you specifically yeah. going to zero in okay. on the love? Well, you saw that's the what we're doing, looking for love and I got to say it four times. <laughs> loving. <laughs> looking for love. You're well, looking for love. Well, loving comes when you <laughs> set your bedroom up for yeah. more than one person. Okay. It's, okay. Um, it, it really is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Right. So if you sit there and set your bedroom up like you're single, it's just that just creates this cycle right? right so that was a big thing you know and you'll see yeah. and then the other thing is if your energy is out of whack or blocked how can you how can you meet someone if you don't feel good about yourself and your energy is low right. and then when you do get to the bedroom the energy is, you off, know, it's right. just off, yeah. you and, and know? You were, and you were talking about the stuff that was under the bed there. Yeah. I what mean, were you that, that, yeah, it looked like a lawn thing. chair okay, or something. Okay, there was a lawn chair, but you know what was the craziest thing? Is when I moved that, you'll see what I did, but I I found crutches. Like, and I'm not talking like, like one crutch, a cane, a crutch, a brace in the corner covered with about two inches of dust. Okay, yeah. so that's... Which that is, is not good. Mm, so, right. so, like, that kind of that's stuff... Stagnant that, energy, exactly, isn't it? Like, yeah. Exactly, it's that's stale, stagnant energy, Exactly, exactly. That's not going to help stagnant. you when you're getting your loving no, on. No, yeah. you're like, you know, it's... Where the you know, good, it depends what you're into. <laughs> and what you're looking for, yeah. And what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so you got... Just, yeah, you yeah. Got <laughs> <laughs> the rich ones, okay. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some of the flowers and the pillows that you have here. How did they help? This pillow is great because it actually represents a lot of different elements. Also, when I bring in fire fire is red and orange I don't want to bring in a giant red thing you know I want it you do mm -hmm. want it still keep design in mind which okay. is what I like to do yeah so I mean I love this and it's got the it's got the dark blue of water it's got the red and oranges of fire it's got the flowers which are yeah. wood right and so it's got a lot of elements that are healing and good to add so to the bedroom. Okay. already so, in here so it had a little bit but then I picked it up even further yep. this or I picked orange I didn't go red because yeah. I just thought it worked better with the pale blue right right so right. um and it still achieves the fire so yeah so I put in the throw, added the shams. And, and, and these are cute too, like things mm -hmm. in pairs, pairs, right? Yeah, it's again, it's symbolic, right? Yeah. So you want to add, I mean, you want to be a pair, so you add pairs. Okay. So, and this is obviously, this nice hot pink is great too. No, right? I like That's it. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, you're going to show us what you did in that yeah. space. And here. we're going to see yeah. the love and start to happen. I got to say it's fixed on. And we are with uh, designer and feng shui expert uh, Laura Morris. And we um, were looking at, before the break, a bedroom that needed some love for some feng shui. And yeah. now we're going to have a look at the, uh, the reveal. This desk is one of those big pieces we were talking about. As much as I love it, it's got to go. We're going to just move this piece over so we can make some room for the side table. And this is going to go. Okay, so you're probably wondering, hmm, why is she putting white on there? Well, you know what? The client likes white, she's comfortable with white, but don't worry, I'm gonna add lots of punches of color. So as you can see, I did add some color, as promised. And I've added some nice fiery red orange, which came right out of that painting, and I melted that metal. I've added two matching tables and two matching lamps. I've changed the bedroom layout from a bedroom for one to a bedroom for two. If you build it, they will come. I've added some chi enhancers, candles, bamboo, crystals, and what this will do is this is gonna bring in more positive energy and it's gonna enhance the chi. And look, even Buddha's happy. Just doing a quick fix to cover up this visual clutter with some really pretty fabric. So now I've covered up the closet so there's no more visual distraction because the bedroom is for two things, sleep and intimacy. And when the clutter's covered, you sleep a lot better. And here we have a cute little rose quartz heart. And I'm going to put a pair right beside her bed, which also happens to be in her love corner, which is going to help her out when she's looking for that potential partner. Mm -hmm. 
Well, my client's bedroom is finally set up for love. We've added some nice soft textures, we've added some hot colors, and some great chi enhancers. And I can't wait to hear the results, and I wish her the best. You know I'm gonna say it. You know I'm gonna say it again. That bedroom looks like it's made for some good loving. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. let's work on that. But you know, Fantastic. I noticed that the the pear thing was really big. Having things in twos. Yes. Yeah. Again, it's symbolic. And like I added these cute little um, hearts. Yeah. And um, the quartz um, it heals the heart. So right. the rose quartz. And so it's nice to add it in pair just to give that symbolism too. You know, again, keep it in twos. Keep thinking about your bedroom as if someone else were there, even if they're not there. You right. should put you know? two toothbrushes. Have one in one drawer there and one. On the other there side. You go. Like, exactly. Seriously. Yeah. And now, if you if you can't have a whole bedroom yeah. makeover, yeah. Um, uh, you know, you've got something that you can have all these yes. elements together, right? Yeah. It's just display. a quick fix. Okay. okay. Let's have yeah. a look, let's over look over okay. here. This is a quick fix that anybody can do. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. And this is not just for the bedroom. This no, is for you any can do room it in the, the house. Bathroom. And again, like I scale it to the room that you want to do it for. So okay. you know, get more bang for your buck and sort of you know, the bigger the better. Again, here are the five elements, and so you can see them all: fire, earth, metal, water, wood. Right, right. The, the um, containers I've got are either water, glass, okay. or earth, which is the clay. So, so again, right, so. I mean, you can if you have a metal container, you could use that too. But right now, we're dealing with earth and water. So if okay. you pick one of these yep. two, I'm going to go with water, which is okay. this. So, this so you've is already got that. Represented. So you've got like it done. And so now, what you need is you need the other four, right? Okay. So, yeah. so you've got, got you've got okay. earth. earth. So yeah. yeah. So I can I'm going to just grab this one here and then. Okay. So start so that going with glasses. This water. Is, this is water. water. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. Um, so I need some fire. Okay. Yeah, right. you need some fire. So you can you can start with thinking about maybe some stones. I don't know if you want to add the bottom or whatnot. Okay, and so actually, I'm, you know I'm going to put some earth and I'm going to take those stones. Does anybody need the yeah, stones? Because go I'm going to take it. them you all. Go, which one? These ones? I, I'm going to go, yeah, I like the natural yeah, ones. Okay. Yeah, this that's, is quick. Okay, so that's stones. I got, st I got my. You got, so you got, got your earth. You got your earth and your water. Earth and water. Yep. So now I need metal. Yep. And which one of these metal usually represents the, the, yeah, the luck or? Yeah, luck? yeah. These are good because these mm -hmm. are the these are the gold the lucky coins. So does that mean more money in my life? Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> yeah. Bring them all. Okay. And, um, if you don't <laughs> have, if you like don't have those, cup. yeah, you I'll take those too. All right, put those in. All right. Like a recipe. I'm gonna be loaded. And then now you need you need fire and wood. I need some fire. Okay. So I need some water. Chris, you want some fire? Do you want? How about that? This is funny. These seashells actually represent fire. I would That's think right. they represent water. No, because they were an animal, and animals are fire. Oh. Okay. So okay. living beings are they fire. Yep. Okay, yeah. I've got water, I've got earth, I've so got metal, wood. and I need some wood. So I'm going to put, can I put yeah. some of these yeah, in here? Yeah, for sure. You can either put those in, yeah. you can put in, you could just like wrap, you know, if you wanted to you do want it. Because you want it to be pretty. So, yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah. Right. Well, give me one candle, that. and I'm just going to put a little... Yeah, okay. Mine's, mine's uh, I just need some milk. Flowers are always a, a representation of wood, right? Sorry? Flowers are always a great representation yes. of wood. Avoid. So always yeah. fresh flowers and in And you know house. what? I'm just putting one little metal in. This is great because it's fire and wood because yeah. it's got the red. Christmas getting stuck. You know what? I Stephen need? might have to help I me need them. make this pretty. I need them. I need them. I need them. Because I'm going to do the citrus martini over there. Well, Tony, look at this here. Yeah. Because I got them all in here now, right? And you know what? You could also do, too, this candle's green. So you could actually get away with just the one candle and you'd have fire and wood together. Oh, give me that. One then. Okay. <laughs> Here, this is wood. There you go. I got oh, it all. And it's yellow. Okay. So, so now, it's the earth, so, you got so now when I put this in the room, what does this going to do for us, basically? Okay. So each of these different um, elements has a different energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by taking, like, if you had too much fire, you'd have too much intense energy. Yeah. So you know, you're balancing each of them. They're playing off each other, and they're making a nice, calm space. Right. So it's good to put this in your bedroom, yeah. in a bathroom. I like to put it right in the middle of my dining. Room, that's where like something like that Big. would be perfect. Nobody's going to be stagnant anymore. Am no. I right? We're going to be able to do this. This is easy. And everybody, come to our website because there's tons of great information here and it'll all be there, Laura. Thank Beautiful. You so much Thank you so much, dear Okay, we're going to have to take a quick break, but Peggy's going to be here to show us how you can make slimming food substitutions without skipping flavor. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you again. That was awesome.